crown of the head, softening through the muscles of your face, and taking in a couple of nice, big, deep cleansing breaths here. Inhaling through the nose, open your mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Again, inhale through the nose, open your mouth, audible exhale. <sighs> Last one, biggest breath in yet. Inhale, open your mouth, let everything go. <sighs> All right, sitting up tall still, draw the belly button back to your spine and gently open up the eyes. I am hitting play on my playlist now. All right, so she got Madonna going, all right? <laughs> sitting up tall, hands come down by the sides of your hips. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, lead with your heart. Inhale, roll it up here. Exhale, just take the ribs side to side a little bit. So arms are extended overhead, reach through the fingertips, stay long and tall through the spine. Belly is hugging up and in. Just nice little shift side to side. Keep that shift going, but take cactus arms, make it a little bigger, like you're crunching the elbows in towards your hip. Let's take it for three. Last two, last one, right hand down, left arm reaches up and over. Draw the left elbow back, oblique crunch. Three, two, one. Take that left hand, just cradle the back of your head. We're gonna take an inhale here. Exhale's gonna crunch the left elbow towards your right knee. Inhale, open, exhale, crunch it down. Using that beat. Really crunching through that side body. Three, two, one. Inhale, extending the left arm overhead again. As you exhale, sweep it all the way through center, taking it to the other side. Left hand down, right arm sweeps up and over. Just feeling that length through the side body first, grounding through the sit bones. Add that oblique crunch, row the right elbow back. Squeezing through the right oblique muscle, right shoulder is open for three, two, one. Hold that cactus arm, take the right hand behind the base of the head. Big breath in, drawing your elbow open. Exhale, right elbow crunches to left knee. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Last three, two, one, release the head, walk it all the way through center. Fingertips to the mat, little halfway lift. We're gonna circle the ribs to the left. Shoulders are back, crown of your head reaching tall. Should really feel like you're doing almost mini crunches here. Three, two, one, release, walk it all the way forward, fold. Inhale, roll it all the way up to center, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, find a bind behind your back. Now open up the chest, roll the shoulders down and away from your ears. Bring the chin down to the chest. And just roll the head a little bit right to left. Two more each side. Last one. Release, rolling the head up to center, arms to the sky. Exhale, bring it forward onto your mat, uncrossing the legs, coming to tabletop. Wrist under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, belly drops down, lifts the tailbone, lifts the gaze. Exhale, press and round. Inhale, down, exhale, round. Moving with your breath, finding a little bit of a beat. Cat cow for three. Two, one, coming back to a nice neutral spine, taking the right leg, extend it straight back behind you, toes are flexed towards the ground, pulse that heel straight up to the sky. Try to keep the shoulders square, belly hugging up and in. Three, two, one, hold that right leg up, cross it behind you to the left, planting the ball of the foot down, taking a nice stretch, press your heel towards the back, gaze over your left shoulder. Pressing evenly into both palms. Bring your gaze back to center, but keep the leg crossed behind you. You're just gonna kick the heel 
towards your booty. So the leg is still crossed behind. We're just kicking the heel up and down. Warming up the hamstrings. Three, two, one. Curl that heel in. Just pulse the sole of the foot straight up. Woo, still slightly crossed in those legs. Oh, three, two, one. Inhale, extend the right leg all the way back behind you. Reach the left hand forward, spinal balance. Nice big breath in as you find length. Exhale, release it down. Woo, take your hips a little bit side to side. Just loosening up the glutes. Three, two, one. One, coming down to the forearms for forearm tabletop, elbows underneath shoulders, belly hugging up and in, round the back here, draw the belly in. We're going to find a little pulse, like a tailbone tuck, like you're doing little crunches here. Option to stay here or tuck your toes, hover the knees, make it a little harder. Woo! Ah! Three, last two. Last one, take the knees wide, child's pose. Rock the forehead side to side on the mat. For three, two, one. Inhale, rise up to tabletop, bring the knees back under the hips, left leg extends straight behind you. Belly's hugging up and in, pulse the left heel straight up. Breathe, find that beat. Spreading the fingertips wide on your mat. For three, two, one. Hold that left leg up, cross it over and behind. Plant the ball of the foot down. Find that stretch. Gaze back over the right shoulder. <sighs> All right, bringing just the gaze back to center. Belly is hugging up and in. Kick the heel towards the booty. Woo! Press into all 10 fingertips. Three, two, one. One, hold the heel in, press the sole of the foot straight up and down. Woo! Ah. <laughs> Last three, two, one. Inhale, extend the left leg straight back. Right hand reaches forward, spinal balance. Hug the belly up and in. Big breath in, exhale, release. Tuck your toes, send the hips up and back, walk it out, down dog. Three. Two, one, finding static dog. Head is relaxed between the arms. Shake the head yes, shake it no. Press the ground away from you. Inhale, look forward, walk or hop to meet your hands at the front of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Arms extend to the sky. Exhale, dive forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank. We're taking knees towards the mat, right to left. Press the ground away. Try to keep that crown of your head reaching forward. Don't let the head just hang. Three, last two, one. Both knees up, press forward as you inhale. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart, bhujangasana, cobra. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Inhale, lift both heels high, and we're just going to pulse those heels up and down. So just lift lower, keeping the head relaxed between the arms. Whew. Three, last two, one. Sink the heels towards the mat. Inhale, look forward, walk or hop to the front. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time, arms to the sky. This time, exhale, cactus arms, open up the chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant the palms, sit back, high plank, hip ticks right to left. We're working those obliques. Make sure you're breathing. For three, two, one, hold center, press forward, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog if you prefer. Exhale, down dog. Take you a little hop, feet deep the floor. Hopping it up and down in that down dog. Getting that heart rate up a little more, take you a jack. Woo! Let's go for three, two, Feet together on one, static dog. One more so 
sun salutation. Look forward, walk or hop to the front of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, arms sweep overhead. Exhale, right hand down by your side, left arm sweeps up and over. Sorry, you can't really see me at the top. Nice side stretch on the left side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left hand down, right arm sweeps up and over. Whew. Inhale, center. Exhale, dive forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, palms plant, step or hop back, hold. We're taking right toes out and in. Woo. Left toes. Alternate, right to left. Keep it going. Belly's hugging up and in. See if you can start to lower chaturanga, hold at the bottom, toes tapping. Three, <laughs> two, oh, one, release. Lift the chest, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Whew. Just taking a second, find that breath. Inhale, bring your gaze towards the front of the mat. Palms planted in line with shoulders, lift it up. Exhale, child's pose, push-ups up, back, forward, down. Take it nice and slow and controlled, belly's hugging up and in. Oh, three more. Oh, last two. Oh my God. Last one. Woo, tuck the toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a breath here, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> inhale, right toes rise. Exhale, bend your right knee, stack your hip open. Left foot's gonna releve up and down on that left heel. Woo. Three, two, one, sink the left heel as you inhale, right toes extend. Exhale, shift your weight forward, right knee to nose, pulse it up and down. Whew. Press the ground away, tucking that tailbone. Three, two, ah. one, send it all the way back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps between the hands at the front of the mat. Left knee comes down to the floor, untuck the left toes. Inhale, Anjanayasana, low lunge. All right, start to pulse that right knee, just a little tiny pulse, hips moving forward and back. You can always bring hands to the knee if that's more comfortable. Woo. Three, two, one. Sink the hips forward, big breath in. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches up. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. Twisted high lunge. Circle that right arm out. Open the shoulder. Three, two, one. Inhale, open up. Exhale, both hands come to frame your right foot. Shift it front to back. Nice and slow. Maybe speed it up. Whew. Belly off the thigh. Last three. Two, one, shift the weight into your right leg. Left leg comes up behind you, standing splits, relax the head. Whew. Keeping a slight bend in your right knee. Breathe. Big breath in, find a one-legged halfway lift. Exhale, both knees bend, hugging left knee to chest. All right, moving with the beat, we're gonna inhale, extend, exhale in. Really squeeze, crunch it in every time. Whew. Three, two, hold it in on one, hands come to heart, pulse the right knee. Back is flat, shoulders back. Three, two, one, place the left foot down beside the right, lift the chest, Utkatasana, chair pose. Whew. Circle hips to the right. Just circling through those hips. Three, two, one, hold low, heel taps, right to left. Woo! Stay low on that opposite leg. Three, two, one, feet together, inhale, rise. Woo, exhale, dive forward, fold. 
hold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, heel toe the feet off the mat wider than your hips. Big breath in as you lengthen the spine. Exhale, left palm in front of right leg, right foot, right arm up to the sky, twist. Option to bind the right arm behind the back. If you took that bind, inhale, release. Exhale, coming back to center. Halfway lift, holding here. Exhale, squat it down. Back stays flat. We're just bending the knees, setting the hips low. Nice and controlled. Really press the soles of the feet into the floor so you're engaging the back muscle chain of the legs. Three, two, one. Straighten the legs. Exhale, right hand in front of left foot, left arm up. Option for that bind if you want it. All right, inhale, release your bind if you took it. Exhale, coming back to center, grab opposite elbow, sway it out side to side. Whew. Three, two, one, hands to the floor, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh. All right, we're taking that right leg up again on the inhale. So right leg again. Exhale, coming forward, knee to chest. Inhale back, three-legged dog. Find your flow, exhale, knee in. Really engage that core, pressing the ground away from you. Three more. Last two. Hold that knee to chest on one. Tick tock the knee side to side. Just swinging it right to left. Woo. Three, two, one. Plant that right foot between your hands again at the front of the mat. Rise up high, crescent lunge. Take that back knee, hover, extend. Back heel high, chest is lifted. You can always bring hands to hips to help you balance if you're a little wobbly. Three, two, one, hold that hover pulse. Ah. Three, two, one, hold that hover arms up. Exhale, twist open, that back knee is still hovering, holy crap. Inhale here, exhale, frame the front foot, step the left foot forward to meet the right, fold. Oh. Bend the knees, rise up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Whew. Pulse both knees. Let the hands come down by your sides. Keep that pulse going, shoulders back. Roll the shoulders back, right to left. Three, two, one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dive forward, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, palms plant. Step back, high plank and hold. Woo. All right, big breath in, exhale. Forearm plank. Hug that belly up and in, spine is long. Just breathe. Nice static forearm plank, you got it. Three more breaths. Exhale, walk your feet forward, dolphin pose. Head relaxes between the arms. Pressing into the floor with your forearms. Big breath in. Exhale, take the knees down wide. Child pose. On your next inhale, use your hands to just sort of walk yourself back, sitting back onto the heels. Extend the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands are gonna come to heart in front of the chest. Circle the ribs to the right. Shoulders back. Arms out like a T, keep the circles going. Three, two, one, hold here. We're just gonna lift the hips to hover. Chest comes forward, so we're parallel to the floor. Woo, circle ribs to the left. Keep that hover going. Three, two, 
One, stand up onto the shins, arms overhead. Exhale, tuck the toes, half camel, right hand to right heel. Left arm reaches up. Square the chest, drop that left shoulder back into its socket. If your heart rate is high, make sure you're keeping your head above the heart instead of dropping it back. One more big breath in here. Exhale, rotate, hands back to the floor, tuck your toes, hips up and back, down dog, bounce it up. Feet are leaving the floor, landing light. Add a heel, kick right to left. Whew. Last three, two, one. Static dog. All right, big breath in, left toes rise. Exhale, bend your left knee, stack your hip open. Right heel lifts and lowers, relevé. bay. Keep the head heavy between the arms. Three, last two, one. Drop the right heel, inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, looking forward, draw that left knee towards the chest, hover it up and down. Pulse, tucking the tailbone. Three, two, oh, one, send it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps between the hands. Right knee comes down to the mat, untuck the right toes. Inhale, rise, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. No pulsing just yet, just feel that stretch first. Belly's hugging up in, when you're ready, add that little left leg pulse. Three, two, one, sink it forward, exhale, cactus arms, open up the heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, right hand to the floor, left arm up. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. Sweep that left arm around, open up the shoulder. Big circles. Three, two, one. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, both hands frame your left foot, shift your front to back. Whew. Three, two, one. Shift up into that left leg. Standing splits, right leg comes up behind you. Micro bend or more in your left leg. Nice static standing splits here. Inhale, one legged halfway lift. Exhale, knees bend, right knee to chest. Find your flow. Inhale out, exhale in. Use that beat, even if it's slightly off from mine. Three, two, hold it in on one. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Find that balance, hands come to heart. Pulse the left leg. Oh my God. Three, two, one. Set the right foot down by the left. Arms extend, lift the heart of Katasa. Chair pose, hip takes right to left. Woo. Three, two, one. Inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, heel toe the feet, hips distance, and then turn the toes out 45 degrees. Slowly, hands come to heart and see you down, Malasana, yogi squat. Elbows are coming to the insides of the knees. Whew. Lifting through the crown of the head. Couple of breaths here, letting the heart rate kind of slow down. All right, inhale. Reach the hands straight forward. Make sure that weight is into the heels of the feet. So you're pressing the soles of the feet into the floor. We're just gonna lift right heel only, up and down. Left heel only. Shoulders are back. Both heels. Oh yeah, last three, two, one. Release, roll it all the way back. Happy baby, grab the outer edges of the feet. Woo! Rock it out side to side. Three, two, one. Hug the knees into the chest, rocking along the spine, forward and back for a total of three. Two, hold up Navasana on one, boat pose. Toes tap. Chest is forward, shoulders back. Three, last two. Last one, hold that half Navasana, knees bent. Whew. Take the knees 
wide and together. Squeezing through the inner thighs. Three, two, one. Roll it forward, cross the ankles, plant the palms. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Take a second, breathe. All right, inhale. Look forward, step or hop the feet wider than the mat at the front. Halfway lift. Exhale, heels turn in, goddess pose, sink it down. Hands come to heart, cool hands, fingertips together, pulse. Make sure knees are tracking out over your second toes. Feet are at 45. Whew. Three, two, one. Hold nice and low. Arms come out to the side. We're going to circle right to left. Legs are stationary. Arms are just circling back. Ribs are gently moving side to side. Woo -hoo. Three, two, one. Coming to center, turn the toes forward. Wide-legged fold. Maybe grab hold of the ankles if that feels good for you. Crown of your head is reaching towards the floor. Release the ankles if you took hold of them. Bend the knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. On your exhale, lead with your heart, send the hips back, fold. Finding your flow, rolling through the spine as you inhale up. Exhale down, articulating all those vertebrae. Two more. Last one, roll it all the way up to center. Rotate your right toes out to the right. Right heel lines up with the left arch. Arms open up, shift your left hip back, reach the right fingertips out, triangle pose. Remember not to pull yourself deeper than your body wants to go. If you're only on the shin, that's fine. It's not about getting down to the floor. Keeping that length through the torso, legs engaged. All right, inhale, let's reverse that triangle. All the way up and back, right arm reaches up and back. Exhale, coming back to center, just shift the ribs front to back. Like there's somebody pulling on your arms in opposite directions, legs are stationary, using the obliques to shift. Three, two, one. Bend the right knee, right elbow to knee, left arm sweeps up overhead. <clears throat> Excuse me, extended side angle. Option to take it lower if you have that space in the body, no need to force it. Inhale here, exhale, rotate back to the front of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lunge it side to side, right to left. Hips are back, belly is in, spine is long. <clears throat> Hopefully you're all rocking out to Blondie right now and we're all relatively on the same page. <laughs> Four, three, two, sink it over, right side on one. Hands come to heart, bag is flat, mini pulses. Right side. Make it a little harder, arms out like a T, hovering that, that torso. Three, two, one, hold here. See if you can lift the right heel. Balancing on the right ball of the foot. <gasps> Big breath in, oh, exhale, release back to center, fold. Halfway left heel to toe, your feet all the way together underneath you. Forward fold. Inhale into Katasana, chair pose. Hands at heart. Shift your weight into that left leg. Right knee comes up. Pulse. Just pulse that knee straight up to the chest. Heart is open, shoulders back. Three, two, one. Hold it up. Straighten that left leg. Woo. On your exhale, bring that right heel to the right glute. We're moving into dancer pose. Right hand grabs the right ankle. Left hand can stay on the hip or extend up overhead. All right, big breath in, bending your left knee slightly. Kick your right foot into your right hand, shift the weight forward. Dancer pose. Try to square your chest and your hips to the front. If you fall, no big deal. Inhale, release, bring it all the way up, right knee hovers. Exhale, figure four, 
more. Right ankle crosses over left knee. Hands to heart. Right foot is flexed. Maybe pulse that left knee. Whew. Three, two, one. Hold it as low as you can. If you want to go deeper here, option to bring hands to the floor. If you want. Just feeling that nice big stretch in the outside of the glutes, the hip. All right, slowly bringing hands back up to heart. Release that right leg, inhale. Exhale, release everything down, forward fold, walk it out. Three, two, one, release and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, palms plant, step back, high plank. Holding here. Right palm comes just underneath your gaze. Both heels rotate to the right, left arm up, side plank. Take it into a hip dip, right hip dips up and down. If you can, stack the inner edges of the feet. Three, two, one. Both hands back down to the mat. Press forward, lower chaturanga. Ooh, inhale, find a little baby cobra here. Elbows in, pulse it out. Pressing into all 10 fingertips, shoulders back. Tops of the feet to the floor. Three, two, one. Send it back, child's pose, thread the needle. Right arm reaches under, left armpit lay on the right shoulder. Option to reach your left arm up and wrap it behind your back if you want more chest. Release that left arm if you took the bind. Gently unravel as you inhale, right arm reaches back forward. Exhale, release forehead to mat. All right, inhale, ease your hands, walk it back. Sitting onto the hips, bring the knees together this time. Tuck the toes, sit back onto the heels. Hands are gonna come to heart, shoulders back. Big breath in, see if you can shift back into the balls of the feet, lift the knees up, toe stand. All right, take the knees out wide, nice and slow. We're high on the balls of the feet. Keep the crown lifted. If you fall, it's okay, just come back in. Maybe release the hands to the tops of the thighs, palms up. Option to add that chest circle to the right. It's not necessarily how I would normally dance to Billy Idol, but you know. <laughs> Three, two, one. Woo! Slowly release the knees back to the mat. Lift up, we're gonna untuck the toes again, walk the knees slightly in, but not so much that they're underneath the hips. We're coming into that half camel on the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left hand to left heel. Right arm reaches up. And again, you can always tuck the toes to give yourself a little more height if you're feeling any pinching in the back. Big breath in. Exhale, circle the hands down to the floor, tuck the toes, hips up and back, down dog. All right, inhale, left toes rise. All right, exhale, shift the weight forward, left knee to nose, finding your flow, inhale, send it back. Exhale, brings it in. Oh yeah, hopefully I'm walking like an Egyptian right now. Three, two, last one. Inhale, left knee holds to chest. Take a tick tock, right to left. Woo! Three, two, one. Step the left foot between the hands. Back heel stays high, rise up. Whoops, I'm falling. High lunge. Hug the low ribs in towards the midline. Back knee pulses up and down. Woo Three, two, hold it low on one. Mini pulses. Hands can come to heart. Three, two, one. Keep that hover. Big breath in, arms overhead. Exhale, twist to the left. Oh my God. Inhale, arms up. Woo! Exhale, frame the left foot, step the right foot forward to meet it. Oh, oh Lord. Halfway lift, 
breathe in. Exhale, Ooh, excuse me, heel toe, feet off the mat, toes forward. <sighs> Plant the palms, round and release the spine. Like you're doing a little crunch here. Squeeze. Palms are pressing into the ground for three, two, one. Take it over to that left side, pulse. Fingertips now on the mat. Right toes planted. Three, two, one. Hold over left side, hands come to heart, mini pulses. Keep that belly active to protect your lower back. Option to take arms out like a T. Three, two, one. Hold nice and low. Tap the heart right to left. Whoo! Three, two, one. Arms extend. Lift the left heel. Balance. You got it. Inhale. Exhale. Release to center. Roll it up one vertebra at a time. Arms up. Exhale. Bind behind your back. Open up the chest. Exhale, hinge through the hips, forward fold. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Three, two, one. Release the bind, hands back to the mat. We're turning the heels in and then bringing them out and straighten. Okay, so that's how it looks slow. Turn the heels in, squat it down, or speed it up. Back is flat. Belly's hugging in. Four, three, two, holding it on one. Goddess pose, rise up, arms overhead. Big breath in, exhale, right elbow to right knee, left arm up. Option, if you want to go for the bind, right arm underneath, right thigh, left arm behind you, interlacing fingers if you want. Woo, keep those hips centered. Release the bind if you took it. Inhale, center. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Exhale, left elbow, left knee, right arm up. Option to stay or bind on this side if it's available. Not required, just an option. Go ahead, release. Turn the toes back forward, fold. <sighs> Roll it up one vertebra at a time. Woo! Legs are wide, extend the arms forward. Press the hips forward, lean it back. Shoulders back. Taking the wrists side to side. Little half circles. Legs are engaged. Chest is just drawing little half circles, right to left. Oh. Three, two, one, inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn the left toes out. Open up arms like a T, setting up for triangle. Right hip shifts back, left arm forward. Cartwheel down, Trikonasana, left side. Try to really draw the right hip, right shoulder open. Legs are engaged. Length through the torso, inhale, rise up, reverse. Exhale, this time left knee bends. Left elbow to left knee. Right arm swoops overhead, extended side angle. Option to go lower if that's available to you. Big breath in. Exhale, rotate all the way back to the front, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step the feet back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. We're going for cobra circles to the right, hips over to the right, all the way back and around to the left. Big old circles. Three more, two, one. Tuck the toes, hips up and back, down dog. All right, so we're going for Hindu push-ups. So the way this works is you look forward and you're essentially gonna scoop your chest forward through your arms. So your elbows are gonna come down, scooping the heart forward, lifting the chest so you're still on the balls of the feet, exhale back. So the key here is to keep your belly engaged the whole time so that you're not super arching your back as you scoop. So inhale, look forward, hug the elbows in, bring the chest up, exhale back. Take it as slow as you need to, this doesn't need to be fast. Scoop the heart forward and through. Oh, let's take one more. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> Exhale, down dog. Woo, that's enough of that. <laughs> All right, inhale, look forward, step or hop to the front of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, feet together. Inhale, rise up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Hands at heart. Shifting the weight into your right leg, left knee pulses. Oh yeah, last three, two, one. Straighten the right leg, keeping the chest lifted. Bring the left heel to the left glute. Left hand grabs onto that left ankle, right hand can stay at hips, or going for that full dancer pose, right arm up. Slight bend in your right knee as you shift the weight forward and kick your left hand into your left, left foot into your left hand. Really try. Keep that left leg active. Ooh, let's inhale, rise up, releasing that left leg in front. Exhale, figure four, left ankle over right knee, flex the toes. Small pulse, right knee. Three, two, one, hold low. Option to come down to the floor if that's available in your body today on this side. Hey, bam. All right, we're gonna inhale slowly. Hands back to heart. Ooh. Left leg comes up. Exhale, release it all down, forward fold. All right, halfway, let's breathe in. Exhale, lift the heels. Bam, look out, look at me. <laughs> Pulse the knees forward. Back is flat. Working into the calves here. Even the inner thighs, knees are squeezing for three, two, one, lower all the way back down to that toe stand. Take your time, hands come to heart. Right. Big breath in, exhale, open up the legs. All right, inhale, option to stay, work on your balance. If you wanna practice crow pose, gotta kiss them at all. If you wanna practice crow pose, hands come down underneath shoulders, lift high onto the balls of the feet, Lodging the knees onto the backs of the triceps, gaze forward. Maybe lift one foot, maybe both feet. If you fall, it's okay. If you don't feel like practicing crow pose, that's fine. Slowly make your way back down to that toe stand if you're crow posing. Legs wide. Woo. Hands to heart. Inhale, draw the knees and inner thighs back together. All right, we're gonna reverse what we did before. So we're gonna exhale, roll it all the way back, boat pose. Woo. Breathe. Inhale, plant the left foot down, straighten the right leg forward, pulse it straight up. Hands come to heart. Add a little twist, left elbow to the right knee. Three, two, one, release that right leg forward. All right, we're going for Marichasana A. So your first option is simply whew, to have your right hand behind you, left arm reaches for the inner edge of your right foot, okay? So that's your first option, you can stay here, work on getting the hips open, work on opening up the back. If you wanna go for the bind in Marichasana, left arm wraps around left shin, right arm behind your back, Possibly interlacing fingers and squaring the chest to the front. If you have a lot of flexibility, you might eventually be able to fold the chest towards the knee, but don't force it. I can't, I can't do that. Right toes are flexed. All right, big breath in, release your bind or release the foot, hands coming back to heart. Lean it back, right leg is still straight. Lift the left foot, flexing the left toes, and we're going to pulse left sole of the foot over to the right edge of the mat. Three, two, one. Cross that left foot over the right leg. Left hand behind as you inhale, right arm up. Exhale, twist to the left, gaze back over your left shoulder. Breathe, inhale to create length in the spine. Exhale to twist through the torso. One more inhale, Ooh, exhale, release. From here, cross the ankles, roll forward, plant the palms, step back, 
high plank. Left palm comes to the center of the mat. Both heels drop to the left, right arm up. Hip dips, left hip up and down. See, maybe if you can stack the inner edges of the feet. Three, two, one. Both hands down, press forward, lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, cobra circles to the left, hips over, all the way back and around. Three, two, one. Widen the knees, thread the needle, child's pose, left arm under, right armpit. Option to take that right arm up and behind the back. Inhale, release that bind if you took it. Slowly unraveling back to center. Find a little halfway lift. Hover in the torso. We're going to take those ribs right to left. Little round release. Half circles. Ugh. Three, two, one. Slowly plant the palms, tuck the toes, hips up and back, down dog. Shake it out here. For three, two, one. Down dog push ups, elbows straight out to the side, crown of the head to the floor. Three, two, one. Oh. All right, look forward. Step or hop to the front of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, make your way down to that last toe stand. Hands are gonna reach forward this time. Shoulders back. Find that balance, belly hugs up and in, knees wide and together, wide together. Squeeze through the inner thighs. Three, two, one, bring the legs together, bring it back, boat pose. Woo, shoulders back. All right, right foot comes down, extend the left leg straight out. Pulse that left leg up and down. Three, two, one, release that left leg down. Right foot is in line with right hip. All right, so we're going for that marichasana. First option, left hand behind you. Simply reach to the inside of your leg. Right hand reaches for the inside of the foot. This might be as far as you want to go today. That's fine. If you want to go for full marichasana, right arm wraps around, right, what is this, shin, left hand behind you, interlacing the fingers possibly behind your back. Again, don't force it. If, force it. if it's not there today, no problem. Square the chest to the front. If you have flexibility here, you're welcome to lead with your heart to fold over that left leg, but I don't have that. Woo. All right, let's inhale, release. Coming all the way up, hands to heart. Lean it back. Lift that right foot, cross the right foot, sole of the foot over to that left side of the mat. Woo. Three, two, one. Oh, what did we do after that? I can't remember. Oh, we did a twist. Right foot steps over left leg. Right hand behind you as you inhale, left arm up. Keep the left toes active. Exhale, twist to the right. Gaze over the right shoulder. Woo. Big breath in. Oh, exhale, release. Uncrossing that leg, cross the ankles coming forward. And actually this time coming just back into a tabletop position. Wrists on your shoulders, knees on your hips. Let me check my time here. Okay, great. All right, tuck your toes, hover the knees off the mat. Back is flat here, so don't let the belly come down and arch the butt up. Nice flat back. We're going to take the knees, circle them out and in. Keep those knees under the hips. Three, two, one. Straighten the legs, downward facing dog. All right, inhale, right toes rise. Exhale, bend the right knee, stack your hip open. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bring it forward for pigeon. Right knee down by the right wrist. Back knee to the mat, untuck the back toes. 
Try to square off the hips so you're not leaning to the right. Everything's nice and centered. Lift the heart. On the exhale, we're just going to roll it down, elbows in. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Last one. Option to just bring it down to the forearms, holding down into your pigeon pose. Oh, getting there. Take five more breaths on this side. After your fifth breath, take your time walking it back up to the palms, tucking your back toes, lifting your back knees, sending it all the way back, downward facing dog. Walk it out for a second. And inhale, lift both heels high, roll forward to high plank, shoulders over wrists. We're just gonna take the toes, cross one in front of the other. Keep the abs lifted. Nice and slow. Three, last two, last one. Feet come all the way back out, downward facing dog, hip lift. Oh, take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Oh. Inhale, left toes rise. Exhale, bend your left knee, stack your hip open. Inhale, straighten that leg out. Exhale, bring it forward. Pigeon on that left side. Back toes down, untuck the back, untuck the back toes, back knee to the ground. Taking the arms out wide this time. Coming down to a hover, so elbows come 90 degrees, okay? So we're just gonna shift the, the ribs side to side a little bit here. Feeling the chest opening. Three, two, one, holding center, roll the right shoulder and gaze to the left elbow. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, left, left elbow rolls and gaze to the right elbow. Inhale, center, roll up. Exhale, option to stay on the palms or come to the forearms. Just trying to let go here. Focusing in on the breath, letting everything slow down. Five more breaths this side. At the end of your fifth breath, gently walking it all the way back up, tucking your back toes, lift the back knee, send it back for your last down dog, walk it out. Three. Two, one, look forward, step or hop to seated at the front of the mat. Ooh, taking the legs wide, as wide as you can. <clears throat> Feet are flexed, grounding down through the sit bones, hands come out in front of you. Just gently walking forward to your edge, finding that wide legged fold. Inhale, walk it back in. Using your hands to draw the legs back together, soles of the feet to the mat. Slowly lower your back. One vertebrae at a time with control down to the floor. Feet in line with the hips, walking them in, arms by your sides, taking a nice big breath in. Hug your belly button back towards the spine. When you're ready, press into the soles of your feet. Lift up, bridge pose. Really engaging through those back leg muscles, the hamstrings, the glutes. Option to walk the shoulder blades together and out of bind if you want.
Inhale to release your bind. If you took it, roll one vertebra at a time down to the floor. Hug knees into the chest here. Rock it out side to side. Inhale here. Exhale, let both knees fall over to the right side. Right hand rests on top of the legs. Left arm opens out to the side. Gaze over your left fingertips. Inhale, bring it all the way back to center. Exhale, switch it out. Both knees fall to the left. Right arm opens up, gaze over the right shoulder. Nice spinal twist. Inhale, release the knees all the way back to the center. Whew. Finding again, happy baby, grabbing the outer edges of the feet. Rocking it out side to side. If you want, you can straighten the legs out one at a time, or even take both legs straight if you want a little more in the hamstrings. Keep the shoulders planted down onto the mat, tailbone planted onto the mat. Big breath in, release the feet. Hugging the knees to chest, lift the head, lift the shoulders up off the mat, making yourself into a tiny little ball. Exhale, release down to the floor. Arms and legs long. Close your eyes. And give yourself permission to totally let go here. To release down. Shavasana. Slowly begin to deepen your breath again, coming back to awareness in your body. Wiggle out your fingers, your toes, just finding nice gentle movements. Rock your head from side to side maybe. Inhale to reach the arms all the way up overhead, finding a nice big full body stretch. When you're ready, bending your knees, rolling over onto one side. And giving yourself a moment or two here, just breathing. When you feel ready, slowly press yourself up to that comfortable seated position, eyes closed. Gently bringing palms together in front of the heart center, thumbs resting on your chest. See if you can connect to your own heartbeat, maybe feel that energy as it flows through the body. Allow yourself to be filled with love, compassion, and gratitude for yourself, for your body, and for your practice. On an inhale, gently bring your thumb tips up to the center of your forehead, your third eye. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. All right, you guys, thank you so much thank for joining you. me. Hope you had fun.
Hopefully my disgusting house wasn't too much of a distraction. <laughs>